Hello everybody, thanks for watching the Craftsman Cave. My name is Eric and uh, if you haven't had a chance to, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm planning on doing a lot more of these videos about Craftsman stuff. Um, as I promised CE Tool Den long ago and uh, I owe him that promise, I'm here to do a little lowdown on the trade stack uh, tool crate here. Um, and as you can see on this side, I got my uh, VersaStack uh, tote as well. So uh, the two products side by side, kind of like a comparison, um, more or less like a feature rundown. I mean, it's a tote or an open tote or a crate or whatever you really want to call it. There's not a lot of, uh, to talk about when it comes to these kind of things, but I thought I would give it a rundown anyway. So to start off with, obviously it's uh, trade stack um, and not versa stack. That doesn't uh, mean to be said that um, uh, the plate and stuff can fit on top of here. So you can do, you know, adaptations to versa stack on top of the uh, tote by itself. Um, but the uh, features that it says here on the uh, on the front of the tote would be that it has the uh, one-touch release that TradeStack is known for, um, and it has uh, full accessibility, so it's completely uh, open design, so you're not trapped or limited to certain things that you can do with it. And then, of course, the most important feature is that it can carry up to 50 pounds. At least that's what it's rated for by, by what Craftsman specifies. So, obviously, the TradeStack system, uh, you just push on the latch and release it like that. Right, um, pretty simple, straightforward with that. Now I don't know if it's just uh, off the line. I have a little problem with mine where it doesn't necessarily lock in right away, but a quick little fix for that is I can actually release this and then release that and it goes right in just fine. Um, just a little tight fitting, perhaps it'll um, wear down over time as I use it. Now, when I compare this side by side with this, and that would be the uh, Versus Stack open tote here, um, I can tell you wholeheartedly that this I consider a crate, or is this definitely a tote? Why is that? Well, I can kind of show you here with the uh, VersaStack style. Um, we have much thinner walls, okay? Still quality, still good for uh, tote and stuff, but uh, the walls on the trade stack are very um, heavy duty, ruggedly built, right? Reinforcement on the bottom, part of the trade stack design, but that actually helps uh, add more support to the material itself. Um, one thing I like too, and um, I don't think that the Versa stack has this, I don't see them in there, um, but there's little holes built in here. See if I can zoom in here, right there, right? Um, that'll help drain out if you have liquids or dirt like that. It'll help you keep these nice and clean, which is a really good feature that I like. Um, and then obviously these waffle pattern handles are uh, really strong and rugged. Uh, so this is a, a very nice open tone. Um, so definitely um, worth the price. It is currently on sale right now. Don't know how long that sale will last, but at least for now, it's on sale. And then during the holidays, of course, Lowe's had a version of the Trade Stack Tower that had this uh, crate, as opposed to, I believe, the, um, the small suitcase, which is underneath here, like this, right? Um, so yeah, that's the Trade Stack open crate in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is the Craftsman Cave.